Is your SharePoint storage space running low? Here's the solution. I'm Paul Keizers and I help businesses with governance in Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you know everything how to clean up your SharePoint storage. So let's jump into it. There is a new thing around and a lot of companies have a lot of versions and then the storage is going out so what they want to do is bring down the storage if we look at the classic way at the current way then you go to a library and you say okay how much a major versions do you want to keep okay i want to keep 100 you can do this the same for the drafts and then after you approve then only 100 versions but that means that it's per library and this could be something that's not that nice. So now Microsoft released, or at least it's in preview, a new functionality, which we are going to show you here. Here's the blog about it. So on learn.microsoft.com version overview. There's a new one here. You can set organization version limits for new document libraries and OneDrive accounts. What this does is you will get the ability to add in SharePoint a new version uh, limit. So at the moment it's not there. So you have to enable it. So let's see how this is going to be enabled. So here they are still talking about the version limits. This is the comment you can use to enable it. Well, that's nice, but I'm on the Mac. How I'm going to enable it? Well, of course, the pay team already made something up at the moment of recording, still in the nightly build. But uh, here we go. We go to set PMP tenant, and then we say enable a version uh, expiration setting. Okay. That sounds nice. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, first, I want to show you the current admin center. And to do that, we are going to the current admin center. And then we are going to settings. And in the settings, we don't see any limits except this one. Uh, but that's not the one we are looking for. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to... Uh, open Visual Studio Code on my Mac. I already uh, installed the PMP uh, library nightly build. So uh, you can see I'm on version 2.4.9.2. Uh, if you want to know how to install it, I will show you quickly. Uh, you can do this by running this uh, command uh, and then you will get the nightly build. At this moment, uh, the one I'm having is the nightly build. So after doing that, I'm going to uh, log in to the site. In this case, this site. Let's see, I'm still logged in. We will see that soon enough. So here we go. I will put this on true because I've been testing it around. So here we go. And I run the script. Now it already run. So let's see what happened in the SharePoint admin center and refresh this one. Now we got a new one and that's the version history limits. By the way, if you like this video, click on subscribe and like the video below. And if you need any help with data governance on Microsoft 365, please contact me and we can look how I can help you. Back to the video. Here we have the preview settings and at the moment it is a preview and what happens is it's set to manual. You can do this to automatic, which I would recommend because if you do it to automatic, then Microsoft Depends uh, looks at it. There are a few things that I don't know about this automatic yet, but for here, for example, I want to set it to 100 items and I want versions deleted after a custom period of time of 365 days, that's fine in my case if you want to do closer you can go up to 30 days that's the maximum but what you need to know is if you have retention labels enabled then the retention uh, is overruling the litation so if you have uh, for example a version locked then it won't be deleted it only be deleted if it's not locked with the retention policy but that's something that's really important to know. For now, I'm going to uh, set this on 
uh, okay, I'm gonna save this. So now we did it for the whole tenant, but of course it could be that on a document library level, you want to do it a, a different way. So I'm just going to uh, site contents just to show you how I get here. I go to the document library and here I go to library settings, more library settings. Then I go to version settings and I have a new uh, additions here. So what we have is this part. This part is new. This is only available when this new limit session is on. So what you can do, you can say, what kind of version time limit do you want to set? No time limit, automatic or manual. So you can say uh, automatic, it will change to automatic. If I choose manual, I can say uh, I want items deleted uh, from the versioning after 90 days. So that's overriding the tenant level uh, thing. And that goes the same here for your version count. So it's also possible to do it on each library so you can adjust it a bit. What is really important to know before you do this, because when you are going to do this, you can uh, see, I have a different one. You can run this command. That's in the nightly build. It's delete job if files are older than 360 days, or if there's a major uh, version limit of 30 and a minor version of 10. So this is a timer job. If you execute this, it will take at least 24 hours before it's ready. So if we look at the trim versions, it also say something else. And that's also something you need to know. Versions deleted using trimming jobs are permanently deleted. The deletion workflow bypasses the normal recycle bin and deleted versions cannot be recovered. So be aware that if you delete this with this tool, they cannot be recovered. So what would you suggest? Well, you first report, and I don't, I haven't seen that in the PMP, but you can do it by the storage usage report for SharePoint uh, views. And this is the report. You can have the site URL, report the URL, and then you get the progress. But there's some more around here. So I will click one more time. So there's a tutorial here. You can use this one to report job and it will report everything you need to know about the versioning before you are going to delete anything. So that's something that's really important. So what if analyzes storage report? Well, they have a complete PowerShell script here uh, to do that, but I'm sure that the PMP guys are up to that as well. So it will uh, be there soon enough. But this is something I really want to show to you. And I really hope you are going to use these settings because it will save you a lot of uh, storage space and eventually in cost. So if you want to know more about SharePoint, you can click on here and I'll see you next time.